my philosophy regarding digital analog overlap is that I think that the most profound projects have elements of both. And if it's purely analog, then, you know, why? It's kind of a Luddite approach. You know, this technology is amazing, let's be honest. That's why we've all adopted it. But if it's only digital, if it's only happening in cyberspace and, and your interaction with it is, is screen bound, then I also get suspicious about that as well. And I think that where you, where you see really interesting things happening is, with is, that, is that overlap. Um, where, I mean, module is a good example, the workshop, where there is a real world core and then it's accessed from a digital point of view. Now, if it was in, if it was just me sitting in my bedroom or in my studio, uh, engaging with these students purely online, I think something would be lost, and I couldn't necessarily express why that was. But I could I could probably show you some data to show you that that is the case. Um, and similarly, if we were just sitting in a classroom, then we'd be missing out all these amazing opportunities that new technology gives us. So there's something about having that kind of that sweet spot between the digital and the analog, where you have that overlap. Uh, that I think is the, is the way forward. One of the things that's really exciting that's happening at the moment, I think, is the way that social entrepreneurship is booming in this country and in Europe, and I say Europe with, with, with intent. Uh, and that social entrepreneurship is a very digital social entrepreneurship um, because digital gives us the power to change the world and then we can choose how we want to change the world, whether we want to change the world in order to make ourselves richer or change the world in order to make the world a better place and create a sustainable career and business for ourselves. Um, and the, a more kind of, dare I say it, socialist instinct pushes us into the latter option. And that's a kind of European British tradition, I would argue. And what young people, what young creative people today seem to be doing en masse in a, in a very exciting way is using these new tools to deal with social problems that government and indeed corporates are ignoring and saying, okay, we cannot trust government anymore. We cannot trust big business. We have to do something ourselves. How can we fix that? And there are many examples of that. Um, I always cite The Good Gym is a great example. There's a project called The Good Gym that started a few years ago. Bethnal Green Ventures, I think, were part of helping that happen. And it's a very simple idea. Uh, but it's rolling out across London's boroughs now. It started in Richmond and it's, it's, it's slowly spreading. And the idea, very simplistically, and it's evolved since it started into many other manifestations, but basically it's this. You want to go for a run, uh, but you're lazy, as we all are. So you sign up to a website and it says, right, put in your postcode. Where do you live? Okay, you live here. All right then. So here's Betty, and Betty lives two and a half miles away from you. You want to run five miles every day? Okay, Betty lives two and a half miles away. She's in her 80s. She lives alone. Every Monday, Wednesday, and Friday at nine o'clock, Betty will expect you on her doorstep to make her a cup of tea. So then you wake up on a cold, rainy morning on Monday. You're going to go for a run? Mm, yeah, you are going to go for a run because Betty's waiting for you. Uh, and again, it's this thing that digital does. That it teams up these two audiences and you couldn't have done it. You know, it's the Uber that gets you fit and solves, solves um, old people's loneliness. And that's what I think our young creative talent should be doing with the internet. That's what the internet should be doing. And you know, I'm not saying it doesn't happen outside of Britain or, or Europe, it does, and that's great. But I think that that's where, that's, what, that's our version of Silicon Valley to my mind, Silicon Roundabout. I'm bored of it already, you know. It's not, it's not a very interesting place to be. I don't think anyone would argue it is. It's not a very creative place to be. But East London, you know, there are places, Assemble is another great example. Assemble, you know, they've got a social conscience. They just won the Turner Prize and they're all young architects. And what are their projects about? They're about making the world a better place uh, and creating amazing design and creating sustainable careers for them. You know, and that's not an either or. Certainly there's that whole, whole, whole strand of things. Um, but yeah, positive social change is what I believe the internet was made for and what I think we should be, be, be nudging our, our best young creative talent towards. And that's the, the intention of, of, of Module and my, my own personal mission as an educator.